Scripture Therapy with Gloria. It's a pleasure meeting you. How may I help you today? I've been struggling with finding peace. I think it might be related to unresolved issues and unforgiveness. How can I obtain peace through forgiveness? Hmm, that's an important and insightful question. Forgiveness is a very powerful step towards peace. Let's talk about how you can start the process and find peace. The same peace you're seeking for. The peace that God can give when you truly forgive. That is definitely what I need now. Where should I begin? The first step is understanding the importance of forgiveness. Because holding on to a grudge or resentment can actually weigh you down and disrupt your peace. That's why Ephesians chapter 4 verse 31 to 32 says, Get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. What did I say? Just as in Christ, God forgave you. I've definitely felt the burden of unforgiveness for a long time. But now, I want to move on. How do I move forward? Start with prayer. Ask God to help you forgive and to reveal any hidden areas of unforgiveness in your heart. Remember, Matthew chapter 6 from verse 14 to 15 says, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sin, your Father will not, will not forgive you your sins. So prayer can soften your heart and really open you up to the possibilities of truly forgiving others. I absolutely understand. But what if the hurt is very deep and hard to let go? It's important to acknowledge the pain and allow yourself feel it. Forgiveness doesn't mean pretending the hurt didn't happen. It means choosing deliberately to let go of the hold it has on you. You can express your feelings to God as David did in Psalms and ask for his healing. Psalm 34 verse 18 says, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Oh, that makes sense. How do I actually forgive someone? Forgiveness is a decision and not a feeling. Please remember this. It starts with a conscious choice to forgive the person who hurt you. So it's important to say it aloud or write it down. For instance, I choose to forgive, mention their name, for you mention the specific offense or whatever they've done. And over time, as you continue to make this choice, your feelings will begin to align with your decisions. And remember, Colossians chapter 3 verse 13 encourages us, Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. What if I need to forgive myself? Self-forgiveness is equally important. Often, we are our harshest critics. Remember, if God forgives you, you can forgive yourself as well. 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So it's important to accept God's forgiveness first, and then extend that grace to yourself. How do I maintain this peace once I've forgiven? Stay connected to God through prayers and studying the Holy Scripture. Philippians chapter 4 from verse 6 to 7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Now, it's important to know 
that regularly spending time with God will help you maintain the peace that you found through forgiveness. Do you have any practical tips for starting the process of forgiveness? Absolutely, I do. Let's look at a few practical steps you can take. Try to understand the perspective of the person who hurt you. This doesn't excuse their action, but can help you see them as a flawed human being. Make a conscious decision to forgive. This is a commitment to let go of resentment in order to move forward. Let go of the desire for revenge or retribution. Trust that God is just and will handle all matters of justice. Release the grudge. Avoid dwelling on past hurts. Live in the present and focus on the positive aspect of your life. Praying for the person who hurt you can transform your heart and help you find peace. It's difficult, but it's important. Also, bear in mind that forgiveness does not hinder you from putting boundaries in place so that the cycle of hurt does not repeat itself. When the boundaries are not in place, the hurt continues. But when the boundaries are in place, you're, save, you're preserving yourself and helping yourself from being hurt all the time. So it's important that these boundaries are in place to enhance your mental health and your overall well-being. Okay? Those are really helpful steps. I'll start implementing them. Thank you so much. I feel more hopeful and ready to start this journey. You're welcome. Remember that forgiveness is a process that takes time. So please be patient with yourself as you continue to seek for God's help through prayer. Always remember also that the Holy Spirit is your helper and your guide. He will provide the strength and the wisdom that you need in order to get things right again. All right. I pray for you that the peace of God that passes all understanding will guide you. And I pray again that as you put these steps to good use, may God give you testimonies in Jesus name. May you be free from this unforgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus. Please feel free to get back to us if you need further clearance or guidance. Thank you. Holy Spirit Spirit of